What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And in today's build video, I'm going to bring you a Picaro's region build. I've been asked to do this ever since this holster came out, and I really just never thought it'd be worth a try. Um, but silly, silly am I, because as soon as I put this thing together, whoo, I regret not trying this sooner. Now, this thing can get up to 131,000 armor region per second with the Picaro's holster. And thus, I am dubbing this the Picaro's region god build. So without further ado, we're going to jump into some gameplay. We'll come back for some uh, build breakdown goodness. And then we'll finish up with some Dark Zone gameplay where I do pvp multiple agents at once and win i mean come on let's be real 131k armor region they didn't have a chance anyways um and yeah, it, it'll make you laugh anyways uh, i hope you enjoyed the gameplay let's get back for the build breakdown and i will see you soon all right so we're going to start the gameplay off a little bit different in today's build video um, because I did get some people saying, why do I do the PvP gameplay first every time, and then I wait and do the PvE at the end? So I'm going to flip the uh, script there, and we're going to do the PvE gameplay now. Then we'll do the build breakdown, followed by the PvP gameplay. And today's PvP gameplay will be in the dark zone, and you will see me taking on multiple agents at once and killing everybody. It is really fun. Uh, using this build in PvP, and I will show you that after the build breakdown. But this is going to be the PvE gameplay. So let's look at the build again. So 2.1 million armor. We have the Picaro's holster. Everything armor region across the board with the Emperor's Guard, the Bellstone. We have the Closer and the Gila with that memento. Now, just starting off in the stats, we do have 67.1k armor region per second, and that is before any of the buffs. Here we go. Um, let's see. Let's switch this to a... Hmm. Let's do a... Yeah, yeah, we'll keep the decoy. Oh, no. I have a secret mind, so let's do decoy. There we go. All right. Off to the races. And I'm going to show you what the armor region goes up to. And for a lot of you, if you already saw the title of the video, you already know what the uh, armor region goes up to. But for everyone watching this, I'll leave it as a surprise. But look at this. I mean, I'm going ham with 2.1 million armor. And this is a heroic. These are these are heroic enemies. Oh, and we've got a grenader. Look at this armor. Look at that armor. Hmm. There we go. All right. Oh, I see him. Boom. Good to go. And I'll wait until I have uh, all of the memento stacks, and then I'll show you the final result, which doesn't take long. You just need the 30 uh, trophies. Pretty simple. And then it applies to your build for the entire five minutes, and that cooldown will reset whenever you get a kill and pick up another trophy. So it is a five-minute timer, but every time you get another trophy, it resets that timer. So you can keep it the entire time you're playing. As long as you get some sort of kills. And it also works on skills. So you can uh, shoot their turrets. You can shoot their hives, whatever. Things like that. They will drop trophies. Oh, there we go. Yo, the foam guy. Come on. Thank you.
There we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at this armor bar. Jeez. Come on with it. Come on. Oh, I see you. Now it's trying to pop his bag. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Now I think after this next stage, I'll have max stacks. And it's ridiculous in the dark zone when you're running around with max stacks. And that's what happened. A group of guys tried to uh, shoot me in the back while I had max stacks in the dark zone. And I turned around and killed all of them. It was hilarious. Can't wait to show you guys that at the end. It was like, oh, hey, let's mess with this guy. He's alone in the dark zone. And then come to find out, yeah, not today. That was hilarious. Go, go, go. I see you. Oh, ouch. Oh my god, then the other person shoots a rocket at me. There we go. Look at that armor regen. Getting there. Come on, come on. Ooh, that was close. They almost got me with that rocket. No. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, yes. And, there we go. Shotgunner, heavy. So now I'm pretty sure I'm at max stacks. Let's just make sure. I don't have any other ones laying around. Okay. So here we go. Um, is this right? Maybe not. Maybe I need to pick up a couple more stacks. We'll see. But right now I'm at 131k armor region. So let me pick up a few more stacks just to make sure I'm at max. But that's 131k so far. Which is amazing, especially in PvP in the Dark Zone. Mm. Because just going, like, say, you guys are fighting around a car, right? You get down to, like, one bullet or something. You jump around the car. By the time you run to the other side and fight the guy on the other side, you're, you're already, like, up a quarter of your armor. Ouch, bro. There we go. And that's exactly what I did in the dark zone for uh, some of the gameplay. Because you're fighting more than one person. So you use the environment around you, and that armor region will work to your advantage. Ouch, that grenade hurt. There we go. Come on. Ooh. Nice. And last guy right here. Let me pick up all the stacks. And then we'll look at it. 
and then we'll go ahead and jump to the build breakdown. I just wanted to show you what the stacks look like. I mean, we we can see. I can just steamroll through heroics with this build. It's ridiculous. All right, here we go. Let's check it out. Okay, so for the Kingbreaker, we're sitting at 112k. For the build, we're at one what? We're at 2.1 million armor. And then with the armor region, we're sitting at 131,000 per second armor region. Pretty crazy. Not bad. Not bad at all. I dig it. Now let me know what you think, and uh, let's go ahead and jump to the build breakdown. That way uh, we don't have like an hour-long video. All right, let's get out of here. Peace. All right, I wanted to put it in a different order because I have been getting quite a number of comments on my recent builds. Um, meaning, you know, hey, I'm typically a PvE guy. Why are you showing all the PvP stuff up front? And, you know, uh, maybe you're right. I do show PvP usually at the front of my build videos just to show you it can work in PvP. Um, but you're right. So that's why I went ahead and showed you some heroic gameplay. I got that armor region up to that 131k to show you all the numbers there. And then as soon as this build breakdown's over, we'll show you some PvP in the dark zone, followed by some PvE in the dark zone. But all right, now it is time for that build breakdown. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up and support the channel by subscribing. Now, starting off at the top with the specialization, we are using the Technician Specialization. Reason being is I'm using the Kingbreaker, all right? And I'm going to be using the Kingbreaker a lot lately because this is one of the best weapons in the game, in my opinion. Um, it's super, super powerful. And, of course, I got this thing up to expertise level 21, and it is magnificent. Uh, I just, I, I can't put it down. You get to pulse the enemies so you know where all the enemies are at all times. You get that extra amplified damage. You have survivability. I mean, this thing has a really high base damage, so I can run a tanky build and still have this really high base damage. I mean, check this out. I'm at 112k total damage on a 2.1 million armor build. That is banana pancakes crazy. And then going over to the stats, starting out, just starting out, we are at 67.1, eh, just under 0.2k armor region per second. That is ridiculous with this Picaro's holster. Now, the trick is with this build is I only have 2% armor region up front and then the 3% on the back half, meaning... Instead of having like two Golan here or three Heligard here to get that other percent of armor region, I'm only running the Emperor's Guard knee pads with that one percent, and then I'm running the Bellstone Armory for that one percent. But everything else is different. I mean, I have the Closer that gives me total armor, I have the Heligard that gives me total armor, and I have the Picara's Holster that gives me skill haste. I mean, I'm not really specced into all armor region on the front half. A majority of it comes from the memento. Now, this memento will give me 3% once I'm at that 30 stacks, and that's why I wanted to wait till I was at max to show you those numbers. That way you could refer to this breakdown and then go back and be like, oh, so those are the numbers with the stacks. These are the numbers without the stacks. I mean, it's pretty damn crazy. The Kingbreaker will go from 112 to like uh, 127, I believe. And then the Armor Region will go from 67k to that 131k. Okay. Now, the reason I'm using that technician, again, for the linked laser pointer that I am using on the King uh, Kingbreaker. And every time I aim at an enemy, it will pulse them and I will automatically get perfect flatline, which amplifies that weapon damage to that pulsed enemy. Now, for my secondary and sidearm, I'm really not using them. However, in the dark zone, it's really smart to use the busy little bee in uh, you know, some landmarks here and there and then just run around with it. And then whenever players or whoever is trying to jump you or mess with you, just switch over to your Kingbreaker, melt them down, and they will not mess with you again. It's pretty funny. Once you shoo them off, they're, they're gone. 
They're going to be like, oh, we couldn't bully that guy. Let's go try to bully someone else. And uh, the busy little bee is perfect for that. Just remember, you have to hit different targets. But as soon as you get all 10 targets, you get 200% weapon damage to that next weapon that you switch to. So it's pretty damn cool. Now, as far as my secondary, I'm only, you know, I have the Slayer in this spot, but it's only a placeholder. I use this just because I'm running with it on my back, and then I get to see the snowflakes. It's pretty cool. Makes me remember, you know, the snow from uh, Division One days. I like to uh, reminisce. All right. So, looking at the build. We have all blues with some reds scattered throughout. But as far as the core attributes, we have six blues, one red and one yellow. But the one red and the one yellow come from the memento. Now, the 2.1 million armor is actually do, 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 over 2.1 million. And in fact, if I upgrade the expertise on my items just a little bit more, it'll say 2.2 million. That's how damn tanky this build is. It's stupid. Um, not only that, but it shows you one red weapon core. But with the Picaro's holster, I get that other weapon core, right? Because this weapon damage is under the attribute slot. So it should say two red core attributes. All right, so let's deep dive into this build, shall we? Starting with the mask. So we are using the Bellstone Armory mask. Now the Bellstone Armory brand set bonus we get from this build 1% armor region. Now for the attributes, max armor for the core, max armor region, and hazard with a max crit chance mod. Reason I'm using crit chance mods is I wanted 50% crit chance on my Kingbreaker, and I got it. All I had to do was put a few mods in a few spots, and good to go. But that was the Bellstone Armory mask. Going to the chess piece, we are using the Closer. This is the named Yuzina Getica chess piece with that perfect talent, Perfect Spotter. Now, Perfect Spotter will amplify total weapon damage and skill damage by 20% to pulsed enemies. So every time I aim the Kingbreaker, just aim it, you see them pulsed. You get 40% amplified damage just from looking at them. It's stupid. Now, as far as the... Brand set bonus for using Negetica, we get 5% total armor. For the attributes, we have max armor for the core, max armor region, and max crit chance with a max crit chance mod. Going to the gloves, we have Heligard gloves. Now the Heligard brand set bonus for this build, 5% total armor again. Now for the attributes, we have max armor for the core, max armor region, and max crit chance for the normal attributes. Going down to the knee pads, these are best in slot and the rarest named items in the game. Uh, the Emperor's Guard with double armor regen. Stupid crazy. Now, the cool thing about this is you get the 1% armor regen as a attribute. You also get the armor regen as an attribute. So what you have to do is get it to drop with armor regen. That way you can reroll that core attribute to an armor core. And then this leaves us to the Picaro's Holster. Now, the Picaro's Holster was uh, recommended for this build because you do get that weapon damage on top of the armor, and that does shine in this build. This weapon, now using the Kingbreaker was a smart choice. Reason being is you get that perfect flat line. That's 20% amplified. You get it from the chest piece, 20% amplified. Then you get weapon core from the memento and weapon damage from the memento stacks, right? This is all increasing my base damage on my Kingbreaker. And on top of that, we do have the Picaros, which also increases our base damage on the Kingbreaker. So what we're doing is we're running around with really, really high base damage, and then all the armor region and armor in the world. So so you're you're literally a tank, especially with this Kingbreaker, and that's why I'm using it. But back to the Picaro's holster, it is the named Brazos de Arcabas holster. The Brazos de Arcabas brand set bonus for this build, 10% skill haste. For the core attribute, we have max armor. For the normal attributes, we have max armor region and max weapon damage. 
And then that leads us to the very last piece, the cherry on top, the Memento Exotic Backpack. Now, this gives you three core attributes. You get a red, a blue, and a yellow. It is also expertise level 20, so almost maxed out. And we have a max crit chance mod. For the talent, it comes with kill confirmed, long-term, and short-term buffs. Now, the short-term buff is based off of your core attributes. So every time I get a kill and pick up a trophy, my short-term buff is 5% weapon damage, 60% bonus armor, and 5% skill efficiency. Now, the long-term buff is where you get that 131k armor regen. For every trophy collected additionally, you get 1% weapon damage, 1% skill efficiency, and 0.1% armor regen for 5 minutes. You can stack that up to 30. That's how we get the 30% weapon damage, the 30% skill efficiency, and the 3% armor regen for that 5 minutes. So whenever I'm running around with max stacks, I actually have 5% armor regen on a 2.1 million armor build, and that's why this thing is ridiculous, not only in PvE, but also the Dark Zone. I mean, the, just don't don't even take my word for it. Let's go through the stats, and I'll just show you the Dark Zone. All right. We are sitting at baseline 112 for the uh, weapon damage, 44.8k for the PvP weapon damage, 50% crit chance, 45 crit hit damage, and 75 headshot. Don't forget about the damage targets out of cover and health damage. Going to the offensive tab, we're at 61% all weapons damage bonus and 30% AR damage bonus. So every time we're using the Kingbreaker, we're sitting at 91% damage bonus total, and that's just starting off. For the gear talents, we do have the Memento kill confirmed with that perfect spotter. And then in the defensive tab, we are over 2.1 million armor. We are just under 67.2k armor region starting off with 339k health, 10% explosive resistance, and 20% hazard, but that's because of that mask. And the other 10% is due to my watch level. So here is your disclaimer for all my build videos. I am currently shade level 4026. That means all these attribute boxes are maxed out 50 of 50. If you are at or below shade level 1000 and copy and paste my build, some of the numbers might add up. Now, once you hit shade level 1000, that's when all of these boxes will be maxed out. Then your character is considered min-maxed. Now, if your character is min-maxed, it'll look exactly like mine. You can copy and paste my build and get the exact same numbers and results. However, until you hit shade level 1000, some of the numbers are still going to be lower. Now, over shade level 1000, so say 1000 to where I'm at right now at 4000, the only thing that goes up is the health. So you do get a little bit of an advantage being a high shade level, but it's only health. But all right, that is it for the build breakdown. Let's jump into the dark zone. Hit that like, subscribe, and let's roll that footage. Engaging landmark. Die, die, die. Melting like a butter. Oh, make sure you shoot the turret. That way you get the uh, drop that way as well. Ooh, and, ooh, exotic. I saw it. I saint it. I saint it. Yo, look at my armor. Holy moly. PFC Dean, you are going down, buddy. That was super quick. Crazy. All right, what exotic? Pestilence? Let's see. Oh, Sawyers. Got him, got him. All right. Oh. Yo, who the... Yo, there's people shooting me? Oh, my God. Yo. Another one, another one. Oh, I see your decoy. I see you, I see you. You know, we're about to play Ring Around the Rosie right, right quick. Look at me healing. Look at me healing while we do this. Let's go, dude. I have a decoy too, bro. I have a decoy too, bro. Where are you going? Where are you going? Sit down. Let's get out of here. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, come on, come on. It's like a landmark on top of a supply drop. All right. 
Looks like they're all... And we have extraction inbound. Extraction fouled. All right, let me hit this. Uh... Heavily armed hostile guarding location nearby. Oh, they're letting me hit this. Nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, nice. GGs. GGs. Oh, now the enemies are coming. You would not even know I had 2.1 million armor, man. Look at the armor bar. Holy crap. Holy crap, dude. Let's go. All right, let's do a little farm. This is the uh, the first chest for the Dark Zone South. And we are right next to the Alpha checkpoint. And we'll do all of these really quick. We should hit the timer. Uh, nice. And then just run straight across to the next one. Keep going. Come on. Run! Alright, I'm sorry. I got a little sidetracked. There's DZ drop. Oop. Corporal Silva. Yo, he's down. He's down. You're, you're dead, bro. You're dead. Oh, another exotic. Let's go. Pestilence? What, what do you think this one's going to be? I'll look at it in a second. Let me, let me know what you think the exotic's going to be real quick. Let me know in chat really quick. What do you think that exotic is? Pestilence? Pestilence? What is it? Liberty. Oh my gosh. I would have never guessed the Liberty. GG's. Alright. Get foamed, mother trucker. Let's see what I did there? I said trucker. Mother trucker. YouTube has a new uh, cussing policy. Not good with the cussing. Yo, look at this base armor, dude. Look at this armor. Look at this armor right now. Holy moly. Can we just enjoy this bonus armor? Wow. Wow, we movie. You would never guess this is an all blue build. And that's what I'm saying. This is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. People are like, why would you call it a god build? It's like, look at this, man. This is ridiculous. You're you're unstoppable. Oh my god. Another one down. Let's go. When I move, you move. Just like that. Hell yeah. Hey, DJ, bring that back. All right, let's go. Got the supply drop. Yo, this guy is healing everyone that I... Come on, man. Got him. All right. Look at the armor bars. I love it, dude. I love it. Look at that armor bar. It, it looks fake. All that dark blue, and it's like little bitty ticks. <laughs> Crazy. Probably running around with like 5 million armor or something stupid. Got him, got him. Alright. Oh. Yo, who the... Yo, there's people shooting me? Oh my god. Yo. Another one, another one. Oh, I see your decoy. I see you, I see you. Yeah, we're about to play Ring Around the Rosie right, right quick. Look at me healing. Look at me healing while we do this. Let's go, dude. I have a decoy too, bro. I have a decoy too, bro. Where are you going? Where are you going? Sit down. Let's get out of here. Look at that. Look at that. 